Hey, YouTube. So I finally made it to the range with my B&T Grasshopper Mouse, okay, with the Elf Bench Trigger. I chose that flat shoe. And I uh, also went ahead and got me a brace on here, changed where my light's positioned. This is more about me just seeing what this Elf Bench Trigger is going to do, how well it's going to perform. I know you all have seen some of my shorts where I've been playing around with it, but this is the first time I'm really at the range running it through its pace. So stop talking, and we're going to run this drill. Now, this is my own personal drill, something that I came up with myself. Let's see what it does. Now that's nice. That is super nice. Anybody that knows about that Grasshopper's um, previous or original trigger, it was too spongy for me. And I can see why B&T decided to go with that Elfman. Hey YouTube, so I'm back out here at the range. Today I decided to put the EOTech on my b and I've seen several of you all with it on your b and and I thought I'd try it out. Normally I run the RMR, Trizicon RMR, but I'm gonna see you know, if it works for me or what. And of course, it's that Elfman trigger, okay? Um, I'm gonna run a couple of drills. I'm gonna start out with the build drill, then I'm gonna move to a box drill, okay? So let's get it. Oh, huh, okay. Inside, so we're gonna move on to the box. Let's get it. Oh man, that uh, trigger makes it fire. Makes it so easy. Yeah, so I am gonna move on to, what's the next drill I'm gonna do? You know what, I'm gonna do the Presidente. So let me put some more rounds in and I'll be back. All right, so I just wrapped up with the build drill and the box drill. So now I'm gonna go on to the El Presidente, okay? This thing is fast. Let's see how fast it will be or how fast it will make me. Yeah, I want to do that again. I kind of dragged on that third, third guy. Let's get it. All right, so I took the EOTech off, replaced it with my regular uh, Trigicon RMR. This is my normal configuration. I want to see what difference I, I feel, what I think, and uh, just how I shoot with it. So I'm gonna run the same drills, exact same thing, um, build drill, box, and Presidente. All right, uh, so let's do the box drill. Yeah. I don't, know. I don't know if I think it's that big of a difference. I do like the EOTech, but it's just too big for me up there. So the last drill is gonna be the president tank. Hey, so as you can see, I am really enjoying shooting my BNT. Um, now, this is not a review of the entire gun, all right? And if you're looking for that, I have a video already that I did um, a few months ago, several months ago, I believe. This is about the Elfman trigger. I wanted to upgrade my trigger just because if you 
ever shot it or if you own the BT, you know that that trigger is squishy. It's just, uh, it's not ideal. So I did a little bit of research and I found out that they offer one, um, a trigger upgrade straight out the door from BT. And who they choose is the aftermarket Elfman. So I said, that's the one I should take, um, I, I should use. So that's what I decided to do. Um, I looked at the difference. The factory has like, it's um, seven pounds, just shy of seven pounds. This is right there between two and three quarters up to four pounds. I like to ride it right in the middle. Um, and then also they use bearings here where the factory is just your standard AR. Uh, they use pins or whatever. And the, the difference on um, the bearings is they have these bolts or it's different hardware. So it protrudes from the gun. If you can get past that, I think it's well worth it. It just changes the experience all together. Um, yeah, so let's talk about just how good this thing is. So, clear. All right, so look at this. Now, right now I'm pressing. There is no take up. Let's take that. <laughs> Put it on fire. All right, immediately hit the wall. Look at this reset. It's next to none. I mean, well, it's super short. You can't outpace the gun. Already seen that other video. Let me just tell you what I did change. Not a whole lot here, but I got a new cutie socket. It's custom. Uh, b and did not make it easy. They had the M-Logs, which, you know, stuff doesn't really attach to it, but I got a, found a way to get something on there. Um, the light, I used to run it up under here but it's just not enough real estate. So it didn't have a, a real good attachment on there. And the big one is my brace. So it changes things. It makes it so much nicer to shoot. But yeah, like I said, this video was just about me upgrading my trigger. And you can see it's like super fast. I really enjoy it. I would suggest anyone spends that extra uh, couple of hundred dollars is worth it. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, comment here, good or bad, like the video, and uh, hey, I'll see you on the next one. It's tax cute. All right, so that's enough of the drills. Let's do some shooting. I'm telling you, it is worth it. That um, the Elfman trigger, it changes it. The experience is crazy fun. Normally I run a Trigicon RMR, but I'm like, you know what? I got an EOTech, so I'm gonna try it out. Um, I'm gonna do a couple of drills. Uh, we're gonna start with the 